Joan Collins, the British actress, author, and columnist known for her role in the television series Dynasty as Alexis Carrington, has been recognized not just for her illustrious career in entertainment, but also for her taste in real estate. Let's see the inside of a luxury flat of one of the legendary Joan Collins. Born in 1933, her life has always been full of adventures. Collins' beauty, charm, and talent let her become a female lead in different films, from dramas and thrillers to TV and game shows. Over the years, Joan Collins has owned a number of luxurious homes in various prestigious locations around the world. Her properties reflect her glamorous lifestyle and her appreciation for fine living and elegant design. Although Collins has property in New York City, France, Los Angeles, and London, and frequently considered herself a gypsy for moving from residence to residence, such locations as the Manhattan apartment can tell a lot about her aesthetic taste. Joan Collins has put her pied a terre, or second home in plain English, up for sale at almost $2.1 million. The building amenities can make anyone's life in this dream apartment only more luxurious. High-end garage parking, gym, storage, laundry in the building, and other services to make the life of its residents as comfy as possible. A few years earlier, Jones sold her West Hollywood flat, requesting around $5 million for it. Located in the Sierra Towers, it is a view to behold, a two-bedroom apartment on the 27th floor of the building. With numerous lacquered textures and mirrored surfaces, this location only proves the signature luxurious and glamorous style of Dynasty's celebrity. Joan graduated from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art at the age of 16 and went on to play numerous famous roles in television and cinema but it was the longest-running television nighttime soap opera, Dynasty, that made her a household celebrity. Playing the venomous and vengeful beauty, Alexis Colby, she oozed Elizabeth Taylor's vibes. Looking at her now, it is always surprising to discover her real age. She is spectacular and very lovely at her 90 years old. Even after several property sales, Joan Collin and her husband, Percy Gibson, not being troubled by their 32-age difference in the name of love, are far from settling down in one place. The couple still maintain a few more apartments, including a dwelling in Belgravia, London. Joan fell in love with the home's 16 closets after purchasing it in 2002. Since the couple bought it not long after their marriage, it was a perfect gift to start a bright family life in a new place. The property, which includes two master suites in separate wings and a third guest bedroom, is conveniently located near Central Park. The next lucky owner will have plenty of room to style it exactly as they want 1,900 square feet at their disposal. This New York apartment in Dorchester, Midtown Manhattan, consists of three units. Compared to other apartments celebrities commonly own, it is a pretty comfortable and cozy place to move in. Its hardwood floors are one of the biggest staples of the dwelling. With numerous windows allowing for the natural light to rain, it gives a quite refreshing and homey vibe. On top of the impressive 16 closets, another place of interest in the Manhattan flat is its kitchen. Designed in an all-white style, it is a glamorous space with everything a person may need for a coffee break or a family dinner with lots of guests. With all those white shaker cabinets and hidden storage spaces, it is a multifunctional room for any chef. It isn't as spacious as other rooms in the apartment. Its dimensions make it look narrow and long. Nonetheless, the stainless steel appliances it features, including a next-gen oven and a dishwasher machine, confirm that this space is sufficient for cooking different recipes, from a traditional English breakfast to Lancashire hot pot and plowman's lunch, which are popular where the actress is from. 
Of course, its three bathrooms are also worth paying attention to. One of them is distinguished by the use of Tiffany blue tiling, which adds a nice visual accent to the space and brings more modernity to it without compromising on the overall timeless elegance of the flat. From a vantage standpoint, the use of plenty of mirrors isn't only beneficial from an aesthetical perspective. At the same time, it is a well-thought-out decision to make small locations seem larger. The choice of lighting sources is on the classic side once again. Such lamps harmonize with the eccentric modernity of blue tiles and marble bathroom and washstand table. The other two bathrooms have a similar interior design, featuring white tiles and lots of mirrored surfaces. This tandem of whiteness and shininess also has a vivid accent, a black two-tile row on the walls that introduces another focal point to the space. There is one more peculiarity to emphasize. Compared to other rooms, this bathroom doesn't feature classic lamps. This dining room looks quite enormous and majestically, doesn't it? While large windows make this space seem even bigger, a herringbone hardwood flooring introduces classic notes to the room's atmosphere. Since the spacious dining room is in noble white colors, Imagine how many magnificent combinations can take the most out of these traditionally toned walls and ceilings. A few sources of artificial light will be enough to create a romantic vibe in the place in the evening. From cozy reading in a chair to dance parties, it is a room where your dreams can come true without difficulty. Here is a look at the apartment's primary bedroom with a spectacular view from the window, this room emphasizes the beauty of neutral colors paired with bright accents. Just take a closer look at this deep blue sofa with fluffy pillows on it. Of course, the central visual point of the entire composition is a big, gray, tufted bed. Its versatile charm is impossible to miss. While the overall charm of the space remains the same, its color palette is tender compared to the primary bedroom of the Manhattan apartment. It also features white ceilings and walls. However, instead of a large gray bed, it stands out with its big gray area rug and a neutral toned space for sleep. Unlike blue accents in the first bedroom, this one charms with different shades of brown. According to color psychology in interior design, this combination will make you feel secure and safe in such a space. They represent dependability and resilience. One of the walls is decorated with a padded headboard. The third bedroom is exactly where your interior design style experiments can occur. Its white ceiling, large window, and attention-grabbing patterned hardwood flooring allow for the elements of vintage, pop, and other genres. Taking into account the apartment construction and layout, it is clear that it is a convenient infrastructure as well. You won't need to go through the personal space of other residents of the area to come to the kitchen or the living room. Bathrooms are located near bedrooms, which is also an excellent designer decision in terms of comfort and efficiency. Collins has had a presence in New York City, where she has owned apartments in exclusive areas. Her New York residences have often been described as chic and sophisticated, with panoramic city skyline views. These homes reflect her urban sensibility and her ability to adapt her exquisite taste to the dynamic backdrop of NYC. Glamour, chic, and classic vibes. That is what Joan Collins' Manhattan apartment is all about. It is a luxurious space with several functional elements that make it a well-thought-out medium for any resident. No matter who will be the next lucky owner of the place, it is an exquisite environment in terms of its customization and versatility capacity. You can paint with any color here, adding more personal moods to the space. Through her homes, Joan Collins has created sanctuaries for herself and set standards in luxury living, blending the worlds of entertainment, fashion, 
and interior design. Her properties are more than just homes. They are expressions of a life lived with a keen eye for beauty and a deep appreciation for the finer things in life. After taking a look at Joan Collins's house, what are your thoughts? Is her home as spectacular as you thought it would be? Would you like to visit this house? If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and catch you in the upcoming video.